I don't. I think five 0 did flatter Arsenal, but I think one thing that stood out for me, Dave, was just Gabriel Martinelli's impact off the bench, and he's not quite hit the heights this season that he did the previous season, and not many players have for Arsenal. To be fair, there's a few in that midfield and that attack that just aren't performing as as well or scoring as many as they did. But Martinelli was electric once he came on, wasn't he? There was some comparisons in some quarters. I think it might have been from Arsenal fans, to be fair, comparing him to Thierry Henry. Um, I don't know if it would go that far, but he was very impressive again, wasn't he, in this game? How the game was at that point, I think it was perfect for him. I think how Arsenal decided to set up, obviously they went with Trossard, who for me, I think he's just better in linking up play in those tight spaces. Um, And I just think he operates better in, in that sort of game. But... As soon as he came in, it was the perfect um, perfect time in the game when obviously Arsenal were quite comfortable ahead in the game. So there was space in behind for him to operate in. And he took his two goals brilliantly, particularly the first one. I thought it was an outstanding finish. Um, but he's always that sort of player that that's what I, I think Arsenal do have his options like him and Trossard. They're two very different players in how they play. But they've also got these... The, always got that different avenue to go down to affect a game. Okay, you know, they're missing that number nine that they that they desperately want, who can obviously guarantee them goals game after game, which they don't have at the minute. But they have, do have a lot of options, and that's something that they kind of used to their, their, their full, you know, devastation, really, in terms of how they took Palace apart. Um, they had no answer, and, you know, as, as bad as Palace were at times in this game, Arsenal actually made it look so easy. Um, I think in the particular, I think in the first half they didn't probably play as well as they as they could have, which sounds ridiculous because it, they made it really comfortable for themselves. But the first two goals they didn't really create a great deal um, aside from the first two set pieces, which they obviously scored from. Um, so it's a, it's a positive. You can't really obviously um, argue with the result as an Arsenal fan. I think it's encouraging for them going forward. Obviously they've had a few set, setbacks in the last few weeks, so. 5-0, we can't do any better than that, really. No, well, it was a game that I think just injected a bit more energy into into Arsenal's season. And I think they needed it at this moment in time. And Crystal Palace were probably the best opposition to kind of find that kind of form mm. from, was it? wasn't it? As you say, Martinelli came on at a time when they were pretty much defeated. But his goals were pretty much like carbon copies, weren't they? Deep into injury time too, which was interesting because I feel like that's what Arsenal have missed this season, that kind of goal, that kind of directness as well. What did you make of their performance, Miles? Do you think they were worthy of a 5-0 win? And do you think this will do them the, the, the good they need, really, to stay in the title race? Yeah, absolutely. And to be honest, Martinelli will have really benefited from that because you will have seen that there's a lot of talk about his form. You'll have seen that there's a, an open conversation about where Arsenal's goals are going to come from. And who better to, to do that than running at a tired Nathaniel Klein in 2024, yeah. if we're honest. But feel a bit for him. Because he, he slipped for Trossard's goal as well, didn't he? He was having a horrible afternoon. It's interesting with Arsenal, because if you look, they have scored more goals from set pieces than any other team in the Premier League this year. Which, I'll be honest, I find it an amazing stat. Because I feel like every time I watch Arsenal play, all I see is Trossard hitting the first man from a corner. <laughs> and managed to get two goals here. And I wonder if there's something to be said of there's a lot of talk about how the route to goal last year was Martinelli and Saka cutting inside and defenders have really limited them to doing that. But I wonder if actually that means that they win far more corners from the wings because their their wingers are being marked so heavily by the fullback and then they're capitalising on those set-piece opportunities. So they're not really losing the goals from the team. They've just found a different avenue of getting them. And that's a really encouraging thing for Arteta to see. Gabriel obviously did really well with both the second one, I wondered whether it was going to get pulled for a foul on the keeper because it looked like Ben White had kind of backed into the keeper. But even still, it was a good instinctual finish. So, yeah, I think Arsenal will take a lot of encouragement from this, particularly when they've seen City get a result last week and Liverpool obviously went on to win quite convincingly this afternoon as well. They needed to keep themselves in touching distance. And we anticipate that it's going to be a quieter January than maybe we thought Arsenal would go in for just based on financial restrictions. So seeing goals come from across the pitch, seeing Trossard to kind of take his opportunity and yeah. hopefully a bit of a bounce back to form for Martinelli will be huge for them as the, as the season goes on. 